Hello, and welcome to this episode of Kennedy Saves the World. Mother's Day is this weekend. What does every mother want? Sleep. It's very fun and amazing because there are so many people here at Fox who are having babies, good friends of mine, and obviously the first complaint that any new parent has, and it's not really a complaint, it's really just a statement of fact, is there's a great deal of physical exhaustion because when you are pouring all of your energy into this tiny receptive being, you don't sleep much. And, you know, whatever energy you are giving them, you're, uh, you're taking away from yourself so you learn how to operate at a sleep deficit. And you're very, very tired. So fast forward to having teenagers. You know that I have two teenage girls, and they're amazing and wonderful and sweet and funny and charming and sometimes very messy. And you also don't sleep when you have teenagers, but for very different reasons. So whether you have newborns or newly in college or any point in between, if you are a mom, you probably spend a lot of nights worrying about your kids. And that is just implicit in motherhood and in parenthood, but particularly for moms. Moms tend to worry, uh, by and large, more than dads. Dads always have the sense that, you know, ah, everything will work out, everything will be okay. And that's because they can mostly rely on moms to do all the worrying because the time we don't spend sleeping, we worry and we are worrying trying to figure out solutions to the problems that have either arisen or if you are prone to worry, the problems that might pop up later on. So we are making plans to head off any problems at the past that either may be here or may at some point rear their challenging heads. So moms, by and large, want sleep on Mother's Day. Don't go to a restaurant. Make your mom food. Make your partner food. If your partner is a mother, that would be a very, very nice thing to do. And I've told my girls that this year. This is what I want. I want a gluten-free bagel with cream cheese and smoked salmon. That's easy. You, The bagel is pre-cut. You just put it in the toaster you, you hit the, the knob, the bagel comes up, it is warm, it is toasty, put the cream cheese on it, put the smoked salmon on it, pour me a mimosa, and, uh, and I will be fed and happy. So when you, you know, everyone wants to take their mom out for a nice brunch, but the problem is, it's like going out on a date on Valentine's Day. Everyone is there. I will tell you this, a few years ago, um, my daughters and I and a couple of friends who have lost their moms, for whom Mother's Day is challenging, and and it can be really sad when your mom is no longer there, we went to Dave & Buster's, and surprise, surprise, there were not a lot of moms there. It was not a crowded place, and we had so much fun. So I guess, you know... The other place, the other establishment that might have a a similar, not well populated ratio on Mother's Day would be Hooters. Um, I don't know that I ever want to go to a Hooters again, but I did love going to Dave and Buster's, and I absolutely would go again this year if someone in my family surprised me with a trip to Dave and Buster's and a gaming card so I could play Miss Pac-Man or whatever else I wanted to for as long as I wanted to. That was actually really, really great. But uh, sleep is the most important thing. I love sleeping. I do like going to church on Mother's Day because in the Greek Orthodox Church that I go to, they, they hand out flowers. Flowers are awesome. Flowers are always good. Flowers, you know, go to Trader Joe's, Go to the neighbor you hate's backyard and just start snipping flowers and you put a ribbon around it. Don't go anywhere. More Kennedy saves the world right after this. It's not difficult to make moms happy. If you put in a little bit of effort, uh, that will make us feel like we have done something right. And you are acknowledging the amount of hours we have spent sleeplessly worrying about you and your needs and how we can help you navigate all the challenges in life without doing the work for you. Uh, It is always a balancing act being a mom, but it is, for me, the greatest thing that has ever happened in my life is having kids, and they truly are my reason for being. Um, 
you know, <laughs> there are funny memes on Instagram and uh, reels on Instagram and TikTok about the kind of mother I thought I was going to be. And this is everyone. Um, it's Julie Andrews and the Sound of Music, my favorite things. You know, they're all in the bed singing and she's comforting them and they're joyous and creative and celebratory. And then, you know, the, the kind of mother I thought I would be, the kind of mother I am. And it's Judge Judy going, shut up. You know, listen for once. Judge Judy just screaming at people. And, you know, as moms, that is essentially motherhood boiled down to its essence because we all have this perfect vision of how we are going to be and we're going to do it right and we're going to do it better and we're in this competition with ourselves. Uh, but then these beings show up and uh, they can, although they are perfect little angels, they can be frustrating at times and they can make you lose your patience. So if you show your mom that the mild and minor frustration was worth it by showering her with uh, a toasted bagel and some flowers, that is a win for humanity. It is what every mom deserves. But I don't care how old your kids are. Uh, I'm guessing that you are in my boat. And that is the boat that requires a nap. And I'm here for it. So take take the time, take advantage of the sleep, do whatever you need to do in order to feel rested and cozy. And Mother's Day is very interesting because, you know, we co-opt a lot of things and we rename a lot of things and we are rephrasing and redefining certain words. Mother's Day is for moms. There are people in your life who are caretakers. They are nurturing. Uh, they can be guardians. They're not moms. And motherhood is a very, very special designation. It is a very uh, emotional one and one that requires a lot of investment. And that's what the day is for. It is for moms. And I know there are people like, you know, for the other people in your life who aren't moms, happy Mother's Day. I'm actually, uh, I'm going to block you there and say, no, this one is for the moms. The nap is for the moms. The flowers are for the moms. The recognition, the acknowledgement, and of course the mimosas this has been kennedy saves the world i will drink a mamosa for you baby i'm always here for you i'm kennedy listen ad free with a fox news podcast plus subscription on apple Podcasts, and amazon prime members can listen to this show ad free on the amazon music app oh go ahead and leave me a review while you're there i'd love to hear what you have to say you've been listening to kennedy saves the world on the fox news podcast network